Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. Ontario Airport wants to be set free from its relationship with Los Angeles. Uh, here to tell us more about that is Paul Leon, the mayor of Ontario. Welcome. That's good to see you again, Leslie. It's been a little while. I know. Well, you have a project. It's called Set Free Ontario Free. So what does this mean exactly? Well, many people are not aware of the fact that the city of Los Angeles owns our airport. We do not believe that they are managing it correctly. In fact, we believe that they are driving it into the ground, which will result in, in the closure of this airport. So in order for us to manage this airport more efficiently, and more cost effective and make it viable for airlines to return, we need them to set Ontario free. Well, what are they doing wrong? You can't blame LA on the downturn in business. The whole economy has gone down. Well, then why is it that their airport is growing? There isn't a single example nationwide where a secondary airport like ours to a primary airport like theirs is doing less or costs more to operate out of. What would you do differently and how? Well, we would begin by just taking over the management. We would combine efforts. There are many ways for us to incorporate the uh, running of the airport into current uh, departments in the city of Ontario, whether it's the policing, the fire, the staffing, the management itself. The city of Los Angeles through Los Angeles World Airports charges us an astronomical fee just for ma uh, management and uh, administration in the, to the tune of eight plus million dollars a year. What do you need to do to make these changes happen? Well, we need them to set Ontario free. We need to see. Is there a contract? <laughs> I mean, are you saying let us out of our contract? It was well, set us free. What do you mean? They're, they're, we need them to agree to switch the operation agreement. A lot of people say things like, well, they, how much do you want to buy the airport for? And that's, informa that's misinformation from their side. They're always saying things like, well, how much do they want to pay us for the airport? They haven't made a good enough offer or they haven't made an offer. You cannot sell or purchase a, a public property. You can, you can swap responsibility, which is how they obtained it back in 19, the 1980s. So what are you, what's your plan to make these changes happen? Well, <laughs> we've made it well known to them that we're not going to take this anymore and we're going to use every uh, means possible to uh, regain control of our local airport so that they can stop, we will stop them from draining our economic engine. Okay, uh, switching gears just a little bit, uh, redevelopment money no longer coming from the state, we're cut off there. Uh, what has the effect been locally with the absence of these funds? Well, great projects that were on, on the table in the city of Ontario came to screeching halt. Uh, we were in the process of investing over $20 million in our downtown area to uh, build um, uh, multi-use multi retail commercial space and, and also um, residential, upstairs residential, much like if you get off the freeway, uh, off the 15 and uh, the freeway and you head west into Disneyland, you'll see where on Catella Avenue they've built some great uh, combination uh, commercial, retail, and residential but some properties. Argue this is a, a slush fund for developers. They should come up with their own money for a for-profit sort of thing. What's your response to well, that? Well, it's not affordable for anybody to build in this current environment or the regulations of the state of California. Uh, if it was a slush fund, here, here's what happens. When you build affordable housing, people need to uh, enjoy good housing, but that can only happen with redevelopment funds, which we don't have anymore. All right. Well, uh, nice uh, of you to stop by to check in, and I appreciate you being here. Thanks for tuning in. More HLN next.